Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, it's James with The Chart Guys. It is Wednesday, March 15th. Going to do my nightly video on oil. So yesterday I highlighted that I had this daily uptrend line here. Draw like that. And um, seeing that the RSI on the daily was so oversold, I said that we could potentially get a bounce off this line. And the bounce is continuing to fall through here. Um, obviously, what's helping it, helping this bounce out here right now is, let me do this real quick so you can see it better, is the... Uh, the weakness in the US dollar and you can see that the FOMC announcement caused dollar to dump today oops dollar to dump today we are losing the 100 MA here which was support last time on the US dollar we are seeing further downside with a TCG bear cross uh, you know, again TCG bear cross is when the 4 and 8 4 EMA crosses under the 8 EMA and you can see that it has lost the 20 MA and the, the 4 and 8 EMAs are about to cross below the 20 MA, further strengthening that TCG bear cross signal. So the dollar pulling back could help this continue with the oil bounce. It's definitely going to help the gold bounce here. Uh, and the next levels to look at here on the daily. And because of this dump here um, on oil, there's not that much resistance here as you can see on the daily here as far as price resistance goes. So the next price resistance we have is the low of this candle here of 50, 50.05. Uh, and of course, this 8 EMA here of 49.20. So the next step is to close above the 4 EMA, uh, get some more bullishness, continue the bounce and close above the 8 EMA, creating a TCG bull cross for upside. What, what you don't wanna see happen now that this uh, bounce has been established is, uh, is you don't want to break and lose this 4 EMA if we're able to obtain it on this uh, on this daily candle that opened up at 6 p.m. Eastern time um, tomorrow. And you want to get a close above the 4 EMA. Red flag would be to lose it and then to drop below the low of this candle at 48.16, uh, signaling that potentially that this oversold bounce is done. So those are the levels to look for, either a break above this 8 EMA next or a... Uh, break of the four EMA and the loss of the low of this candle of 48.16. That would be a red flag. And then obviously this would be a big red flag to lose 47.09. So something to watch for in oil. And on the hourly chart, looks like we are setting higher highs on the hourly. Uh, let me take a look at here. So we do have a uh, TCG bull cross again as we set a higher high on the hourly. So the high of this bounce attempt has been the high of this candle at 48.86.7. And again, with the dollar weakness, looks like we're breaking that level. And on the hourly, the next resistance to look for is, let me see if I can find a resistance here, uh, would be the low of this candle here of 49.31 is the next hourly, let me make this bigger. The low of this candle here would be the next resistance of 40, 49, uh, 49.31. So that's the next hourly resistance to watch for. Could take it out overnight. Um, so the, the the oil bounce is still strong as long as that daily uh, supports are held. And again, red flag. On the loss of, sorry, come on. On the loss of this candle low here of 48.16. Um, so bulls want to, 
maintain that. So if you're bullish oil, I would uh, I would definitely be worried if it lost 48.16. If you're bearish oil, you definitely do not want it to get a TCG bull cross on the daily and get above the 8 EMA. So have a good night. That's my video on oil for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow.